Green Scholars, yesterday we learned about a brand new word, and that word is a contraction. A contraction is just a shorter way to say a word. It's when you combine two words that we know how to read, we know how to say, and we make it into another word. And luckily, that same word means the same exact thing. So, we talked about I am, I will, you are, she is, they are, could have. Those are all contractions. So, what we're going to do today is you're just going to follow along as I read this book. Our title is called I'm and won't, there and don't. What's a contraction? And it's by, so it's written by Brian P. Cleary. And if he's our author, that means that he wrote the words. Our illustrator is Brian Gable. And if he's an illustrator, that means that he drew the pictures. So we're gonna learn more about contractions through this story. As I read, just try and follow along. Contractions take a couple words, or sometimes even three, and shrink them into only one, as in she's drinking tea. So she is changed to she's. She's is the contraction, and it shortens up she is. It takes two words and makes them one, as in that's mine and his. As punctuation goes, contractions always feature these. Remember, it's called an apostrophe. They take the place of letters, and they're called apostrophes. Take a phrase like does not. A contraction makes it doesn't. Try another, was not. You can shorten it to wasn't. Apostrophes help link the words and replace at least one letter, as in I'm very proud that I've helped make this lovely sweater. Oftentimes contractions join another word to not, like shouldn't it be colder now? And can't I take your spot? I don't think this shoe is mine. Isn't it absurd? All these turn a two word phrase into one single word. We have a lot of contractions up here. There, we'll, I'd, she's, can't, I'll, couldn't. Other times contractions shorten are or is or am as in I'm sure you're hungry, and he's cooking up some ham. Now and then contractions shorten not just two, but three words. For example, I'd have thought this was the zoo. Would, when it's contracted, is reduced to just a D in words like I'd and she'd, as well as you'd, to name just three. So this is I would, she would, you would. Will can come in handy as a future tense contraction. Shrink she will right down to she'll. It's smaller by a fraction. Sometimes you'll find have and had had been abbreviated. Like I've got a puppy and I'd better get him crated. Aren't contractions useful words in speech and writing? Don't have any fear in using them. I'm guessing that you won't. So what's a contraction do you know? That is the end of our book.